your router and modem may be the same device. Switch off the modem and router and unplug both sets of power cables. Wait 30 seconds. First, plug the power cable into the modem and then into the router. Wait for both to boot up. Your Fire tablet will automatically reconnect when the signal returns. <coughs> Transferring content from your computer. Navigating your fire. Your home screen contains your search bar and apps grid. Swipe your finger up and down to scroll between pages of your installed apps. To reorganize your home screen, press and drag apps to move them around or group apps together in folders by dragging one directly on top of another. Newly installed apps are automatically added to your home screen. To remove an app or item from your device, press and hold it from home and then tap uninstall from the top pop-up bar. Pre-installed applications cannot be removed. Swipe and tap a category to view related content. You can also switch between categories by swiping left or right on the screen. The content category pages display your recent items as well as personalized lists to help you find new content. You didn't know, that's mine! Tap library to access all of your content or tap store to bring the shop category page connects directly to the full Amazon store. The navigation bar contains it was that, to which returns you to your me, previous so screen. I don't care. Which returns you to the previous home screen. And task switcher, which lets you switch between tasks and recent activities. If you're reading or using other functions and do not see the navigation bar, tap the center of the screen or swipe up from the bottom to bring it into view. I want to fuck! Stop, bitch! I want to fit it! You can solve many issues no, with your phone no, by restarting no. or resetting your phone. I don't get it! Your, get it. Let me put the tablet right here. Can you please? Troubleshooting. I don't care what she was You can solve many issues with your Fire Tablet I by restarting or resetting your device. To restart your 
Fire tablet, press and hold the power button until the power off dialog box appears and select restart. After your tablet shuts off, press the power button again to restart. If restarting does not solve your issue, or if your tablet is unresponsive, <laughs> press and hold the power button for a full 40 seconds until the tablet powers off and restarts. Depending on which tablet you have, you may need to press the power button again to restart your device. If your Fire tablet is still unresponsive, Try charging your device using your power adapter before restarting it. The battery icon will show a lightning bolt to indicate that your device is properly charging. If the battery icon does not show your device is charging, make sure that the power cable is fully inserted into the device and that the power adapter is securely inserted into the power outlet. No! No! If you are still having Try plugging your power adapter into a different power outlet to make sure the outlet is working properly. When your tablet is fully charged, try restarting your device again. If you are having trouble seeing your content, such as photos that you don't believe are yours, verify that your tablet is registered to the correct account. Open settings and then my account. If you see the wrong account listed, tap deregister and deregister again to confirm. Select register to log in and register the tablet to the correct account. To fix a problem with an app on your device, go to the apps and notification menu in settings to manage, sync, and update it. Tap manage all applications and select the app you wish to manage. Choose to force stop, uninstall, clear data, or clear cache if you are having a problem. Clearing data does not delete the app. However, your saved information, such as game scores, may be lost. Finally, if you are still experiencing issues, you can try resetting your Fire Tablet to the factory default settings. Swipe down from the top of the screen and tap Settings and then tap device options. Tap reset to factory defaults and then reset. Resetting to factory default removes your personal information, Amazon account information, and downloaded content from the device. Your digital content purchased from Amazon will still be securely stored in your Amazon cloud library and available for you to re-download after you reset your device. You can't do that. No. 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 You can be that. All right. Be a good, good, sad. No. Yeah.